34. Calculate the concentration of SR2 plus when SRF2 starts to precipitate from a solution that is 0.0025 molarity in the fluoride ion F minus. Okie dokie. So we're talking about precipitations. We have a compound that's just starting to precipitate, which means that there's basically the start of forming a solid in the solution. So we're dealing with solubility products. Now I had to go, well, what happened was I went to the back of the textbook to find out the, uh, the uh, KSP for strontium fluoride, and they didn't have it in the textbook that, you know, is using this question. So I looked in a couple other textbooks, they didn't have it either. So I searched online and I was either getting 8.0 times 10 to the negative 10th or 7.9 times 10 to the negative 10th. Uh, so since this one can be rounded to 8.0, I'm, I took this number. Okay. But I would just double check with what number maybe they gave you a KSP. So just use that one. Um, but yeah, we're going to use the 7.9 times 10 to the negative 10th for this one. Okay. Now, when we're using KSP values, just know that the solution has to be a saturated solution. A saturated solution means that you basically are just starting to make a solid. But if you're, you're making way too much of a solid, you're oversaturated. That's a super saturated solution. But in here, they gave us the keywords that we're starting to precipitate. So that means that we're just at the beginning. That's a saturated solution. But what is a KSP without a balanced equation? It's nothing. So let's write the balanced equation for SRF2 dissolving into its ions. SRF2, SRF2, that's a solid. Double arrows, because we're dealing with K values, equilibrium. And strontium, uh, strontium SR2+, plus, right? They gave me the ion, so thank you for that. That's aqueous. Plus, they gave me the other ion as well, F-. minus, And that's aqueous. Just making sure that this is balanced. There's two fluorines, so I'm just going to put a two in front of here. And now we're balanced. Okay. Now I'm just going to write down what they gave me. Now they did tell me that I had a concentration of 0 0.0025 molarity for the F minus. Now don't be tempted to times that by two. They're telling you that this is the amount that you're allowed to have. Out of all the fluoride ions that are in the solution, there's many, many, many of them, uh, the, the entire concentration is 0 0.0025. So that's what I got. I can't just miraculously times it by two and get double the amount. They want us to find out what the concentration of the strontium ion is, so I don't know that one, so I'm just going to label it as X. Now, I'm going to use my KSP equation to... So oh my gosh. Hey, I don't know if you heard that, but I'm like jumping out of my seat here because there's really, really loud thunder, and I don't like thunder. But the show must go on. I have to help you guys out. But if my uh, screen just goes black and, you know, you don't get this video, uh, yeah, I'll be in the dark because it's 2.21 a.m. Nice. Okay. So let's go for it. KSP equation. This one right here. Just equal to the products, right? So KSP equals to the concentration of... SR2 plus times the concentration of F minus. In this case, we have to look out for those coefficients. There were two fluorines, so I have to raise my fluoride ion concentration to the second. The strontium one is raised to the first, but you don't have to do anything with that. Let's see. The fluoride ion was 0 0.0025. The strontium is just going to be X, and the KSP value is the 7.9 times 10 to the negative 10th. Okay, let's go for it. 7.9, uh, 7.9 times 10 to the negative 10th equals X times 0 0.0025 squared. So let's do the squaring first. So 0 0.0025 raised to the second, that's 6.25. So I'll just write that out here. So x times 6.25 times 10 to the negative sixth. And now I'm just going to divide each one by 6.25. Ah, 
times 10 to the negative 6. Okay. This cancels out. Now let's get our x value. x equals 7.9 times 10 to the negative 10th divided by that answer. And if we do two sig figs, I get 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. So now always just go back up to what we were solving for. We were solving for the strontium ion. So SR2 plus, and we labeled it as just X. So it would be the same number, 1.3 times 10 to the negative fourth molarity. And that's it. Okay. Always go back to your equilibrium values or the numbers that you labeled X or 2X or 3X just to make sure. Was it only just 1X? Was it 2X? Then you would have to multiply this number by 2, but just always double check. All right? So there you go, guys. I really hope uh, this helped you out. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel, and I will be talking to you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Okay. Bye-bye.